everybody. This is Danny back from Deep South Homestead again. Guys, you know, when you live around a homestead like I do and you work on it completely full time all the time, I'm one of these kind of people that uh, I've broke both of my ankles in the past and stability on the ground for me at 60 something years old is, is very important. I do not want to get hurt. Uh, I don't want to re-fracture or re-break something again. So stability for me is everything. And a good pair of shoes is, um, is very difficult for me to come by. When I buy shoes, I usually end up having to pay between $120 to $150 to $175 a pair uh, in order to get good shoes uh, for my feet. Well, um, we were looking around and we were contacted and this company called Cujo Yard Shoes said that they had some shoes that would like for us to try out. Well, I'm not one of the kind of people who want to do my reviews to just throw something up and say, you know, just yada, yada, yada about it. I've been wearing these shoes for a month now. Um, I have mine on right now. I don't even take them off. This has been one of the most comfortable pair of shoes and stable on the ground. I have not tripped one time with these shoes. I mean, literally, they have been fantastic on my feet. Now, I was a little skeptical to start with, you know, because shoes are stiff when you start out and stuff like that. Now that they're broken, uh, I've had no trouble with my lower back. I mean, literally, I have problems with my lower back because I broke my back. Uh, and, and your feet have a lot to do with your lower back. And these are have been so good I mean, I've been out, I've experimented with them, I've been, <laughs> I've got them soaking wet. I've, uh, every morning I go out with them, they get wet because I have to go through the grass and then I'm, you know, I'm in the dirt and I'm in the garden working with them. I'm knelt down with them, my toes are bent on them and all this kind of stuff. I'm climbing ladders, I'm doing all kind of going into the cow stalls with them and everything and the chicken pens and all this kind of stuff. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It's been one of the better pair of shoes I think I've ever owned. Now, there's a pair here. It's Ms. Wanda's. This is her pair of shoes. Now, Ms. Wanda don't wear hers uh, as much as I do. Now, when it was cool weather, uh, Ms. Wanda wore hers a lot. Ms. Wanda's kind of a, uh, uh, she's kind of a flip-flop kind of girl. You know what I mean? She likes, she don't like socks on and all this kind of stuff. She likes when it's warm. She likes to just have her feet, you know, open to the air. And I'm going to the garden and working and stuff like this. She's just more comfortable that way. Now me, I'm in too many different, I'm, I'm maybe using a chainsaw. I may be using, you know, I'm climbing ladders, all this kind of stuff. I've got to have shoes and socks on all the time. So for me, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't care about the heat factor or anything like that. Uh, these are very comfortable. Uh, these are lace-up now. Uh, my pair is a lace-up. Her pair is a lace-up. Um, now you can order a uh, a thing that goes on the shoe. You can take the laces out and order this thing that goes on there where you don't have to worry about lacing it up. You can just fix it where you pull it on and off all the time. Uh, that is an option that you can get. Uh, and we may put a link to that down below too if you're interested in it. Now these shoes, I think, now don't hold me to it, but you can go to the link and look. You know, but they're, they're a little, people say they're a little pricey. Now uh, to me, it's not because I'm already spending that kind of money on shoes. And my shoes don't usually last me. At that price, a pair of shoes usually don't last me but about six to eight months. And I'm already a month in these shoes and, uh, and literally when I look at mine, I don't see any sign of wear. I mean, they're not wearing, uh, they're not slipping, uh, they're not trying to crack anywhere. They're not trying to do anything like that. And for me, after a month of hard work, like I put a shoe through, wet, dry, you know, all this kind of stuff, that's a big plus for me. So, guys, I'm, uh, Cujo uh, Yardwear shoes, to me, is going to be one of the better shoes I think I've ever, I've ever wore. Now, I've wore a lot of different kinds of shoes. Now, I've got some LL Beans. I've got uh, Georgia Giants or Georgia Boot shoes and stuff like this. I mean, I've, I've wore a lot of different types of shoes trying to find a good support for my feet. And, um, and, and these 
have been as good as anything I've ever bought. Let me put it that way. Now I'm going to put a few video clips in showing the shoe being used, uh, showing you where my foot, what you know, what you know, just some pictures of me using it in the garden, different places like that. And you decide for yourself. If you're looking for a good pair of shoes, you might want to try. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. Now, this is an honest review here. Uh, I would, if this had been a bad shoe, I would just look at you and tell you, don't do it. But now, this particular product right here, to me, for a homestead, especially if, if you like me, you've broken both ankles and you know you've you have issues with your ankles already. In my lower back, I have problems with that. This has alleviated a lot of that problem. Now, I. I used to didn't think there was anything to that, but now since I've learned that good shoes make a difference in your lower back and I don't fatigue like I used to. I uh, used to for me to walk all the way to the mailbox, which is, you know, is a couple of hundred yards to my mailbox and walk back to the house, my legs would be tired at my age. And I'm like, I can walk up there now, walk back. I can walk all the way around my whole pond and I come around the other side and come back to the house, come up those steps to get a fishing pole, go back to the pond, stand, not sit, but stand and fish for another hour or so, and my legs are not giving out on me. And I attribute that to the shoes because they're holding me stable. And guys, um, you might want to check them out. Just go check out Cujo Yardware. We'll put a link in the description down below and see if it's something that you might be interested in because that's our that's our goal here at Deep South Homestead is when we find a product that is a decent product, then we don't mind sharing it and we don't mind telling you that it's been decent. Now, like I said, I've been wearing mine for a month. For me personally, they've been fantastic to wear on my feet. So guys, if you want to check them out, check them out and there'll be a link down there if you want to purchase them then I would, I would highly recommend them as, as being an equal to any other shoe I've ever wore. So thank you guys from Deep South. Home